نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرخ لی صدری و یسر لی امری و احل العقدتم من لسانی یفقه قولی و جعل لی وزیر من اخلی اللہم فکہنا فی الدین رب زدنی علما اللہم الہمنا رشدا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم ارنا الحق حقا و رزقنا اتباعا اللہم ارنا الباطل باطلا و رزقنا اجتنابا آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ بکس Envy, you know what? It is a negative frame of mind. It is a negative and an extremely disliked thought process. A person who is envious is a thankless person. A person who is jealous or who is envious is actually mentally sick. He is mentally sick to the extent that he is not content with what Allah has blessed him And he is not also satisfied by the distribution of the blessings of Allah. And a person who gets envious, it is very important to understand that a person who gets envious may just lose his ability to good deeds. And it may get very, very easy for him to commit sins. It is an extremely bad state of mind. For if you realize that, The, uh, the story of Shaitan and Hazrat Adam a.s. When Allah asked Iblis to prostrate in front of Adam a.s. What was there? Shaitan just got jealous. He was envious of Adam a.s. And this envious state of mind ended up in what? In disobedience of Allah. He just refused to prostrate. So this is envy. This envious behavior or state of mind will leave or will lead a person towards disobedience and hence being thrown out of paradise the way shaitan was exiled from paradise. Then if we repeat the story of the sons of Adam alayhi salam, Habil and Kabil, the elder one just got envious and this envy was what opened the door to A such, a such a great sin like the murder of his own real brother? Just imagine, the son of a prophet developing envious feelings in his heart ends up with murdering his real brother? And then the story of the brothers of Hazrat Yusuf a.s. They were envious of their father's love and affection for Hazrat Yusuf a.s. And this envy led them to what? A plan to murder Hazrat Yusuf a.s. Who are they? they? They were the sons of a prophet Hazrat Yaqub a.s. They were the grandsons of a prophet Hazrat Ishaq a.s. And they were the great grandsons of the prophet Hazrat Ibrahim a.s. Khalilullah. Sons and grandsons and great sons of the prophets. They, if they develop the feelings of jealousy or they get envious to somebody, will end up in such, in committing such great and major sins. So that is why it is extremely important to stop ourselves from these negative frame of minds. This jealousy or this hasad or this envy You know, it brews up in stages. The first stage, the person just feels deprived seeing a blessed person or a blessed uh, a person or a fellow being who is blessed by the bounties of Allah. The person just feels deprived. And this feeling of being deprived causes him to become upset, to become anxious. He's depressed. He's tense. He's cribbing, he's grumbling, he's unhappy. And this anxieties and tensions and depressions may just leave down to, it may just lead down to nervous breakdowns. So you see, all these 
occasions when people are going through nervous breakdowns it might be this this very negative feelings of envy and jealousy which might be the triggering cause in the second stage the person who was just upset and anxious in the second stage he develops an intense and a severe desire to get what he hasn't or to get or to acquire what he has been deprived of and in this stage he just forgets he just forgets the right the wrong the halal the haram the concept of sin he just forgets the fear of allah he just forgets the fear of hereafter he just all what he remembers is that i have to get it in any way right or wrong beg borrow steal loot plunder do whatever but i have to get it and that is why and there is when he resorts to all forms of unlawful sinful means to acquire the things and then he becomes a disobedient and then he becomes a transgressor and the third stage is that when after getting the thing for himself he is not even content with that he desires that only only me only i should be having this thing and no one else and then he does all forms of all forms of sins and wrongs and he becomes what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says asfala safilin and he makes fun of people he tries to belittle and humiliate people and then he does leg pulling and then he does all forms of harsh and he does all forms of oppressions so now in the materialistic world of today this state of mind of being envious and being or being jealous of somebody it is extremely common it is extremely common so i would be suggesting some ways of preventing ourselves of indulging in these negative feelings so the first thing which i would be talking about is to prevent ourselves or our hearts getting envious is self analysis give yourself time a quality time of self analysis and do a strict self audit just just probe your heart just probe your feelings and see am i am i jealous of somebody am i envious of somebody's blessings and if you realize that this is so then accept it confess and after confession comes regret and then repentance seek forgiveness and ask for repentance and then promise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to leave it and ask for allah's help after this repentance and self analysis the second thing which would help us stopping ourselves from being un, uh, from being envious is to be grateful gratitude shukr and gratitude once a person starts seeing realizing and counting one's own blessings then the feeling of jealousy is obviously supposed to go off the third thing is zikr or remembrance of allah the more we remember allah the more we do zikr it will save our heart from the evil feelings and from the evil emotions the shaitan somehow manages to instill or inculcate in our souls the fourth is what allah is suggesting in this ayah that for men is a share of what they have earned and for women is a share of what they have earned so if somebody around you is more blessed then they have obviously worked hard to earn for it and they have struggled and strived in life so okay you also you you go ahead you work hard you struggle you strive obviously by lawful and within the halal limits but if rather than just sitting and just wailing and just feeling upset and just developing negative feelings and negative thought processes go go ahead and work and work hard in life and struggle and achieve what they have achieved and the fifth suggestion is which in this ayah allah is 
suggesting ask Allah for his bounty. So it is like supplicate to him. It is he, it is Allah who has blessed the other person. So okay, you also, you also go ahead and supplicate and ask for your share of bounties. So this is a very positive outlook and this will save us from the negativity of jealousy and the negativity of uh, envying the other people. Prophet Wasallam talking about envy has uh, in a hadith reported by Hazrat Zubair anhu in Mustad Ahmad in Tirimzi, the Prophet Wasallam said, the melodies of the previous people are overtaking you. And what are the maladies? The Prophet ﷺ said, jealousy and malice. Isn't it so very right? These days, there is a lot of jealousy and a lot of malice. The Prophet ﷺ said, jealousy and malice. They are the ones to completely shave off. I do not say that they shave the hair, but they shave off the religion. So this is a ill feeling in the heart which is going to ruin the religion, the faith and the belief of a believer and a Muslim. Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu alayk Rabbi ghfir wa arham wa anta khayru rahimeen Allahumma alhimna rushdan wa izna min shururi anfusina Allahumma rahmataka arju fala takilni ila nafsi bin tarfata aynin wa aslihli shakni kullahu la ilaha illa anta Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min zawali ni'matik